Uh, good evening, everyone. Our service this evening is a service of evening prayer. And if you have your Book of Common prayer to hand, or on page 101, you're very welcome um, to this little short service this evening. The Lord be with you. Beloved in Christ, we come together to offer to Almighty God our worship and praise and thanksgiving to confess our sins and to receive God's forgiveness, to hear his holy word proclaimed, to bring before him our needs and the needs of the world, and to pray that in the power of his spirit, we may serve him and know the greatness of his love. Conscious of our need for forgiveness, let us confess our sins to God, our Father. And so we pray, Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you and against our neighbour in thought and word and deed, through negligence, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault, by what we have done and by what we have failed to do. We are truly sorry and repent of all our sins. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us, forgive us all that is past and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy on us, pardon and deliver us from all our sins, confirm and strengthen us in all goodness and keep us in eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O Lord, open our lips and our mouth will proclaim your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Praise the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. I want to read um, for a canticle, uh, Saviour of the World. I just think it's very appropriate for the times that we are currently living in. And it's on page 130 in our Book of Common Prayer. Saviour of the world. Jesus, Saviour of the world, come to us in your mercy. We look to you to save and help us. By your cross and your life laid down, you set your people free. We look to you to save and help us. When they were ready to perish, you saved your disciples. We look to you to come to our help. In the greatness of your mercy, loose us from our chains. Forgive the sins of all your people. Make yourself known as our saviour and mighty deliverer. Save and help us that we may praise you. Come now and dwell with us, Lord Christ Jesus. Hear our prayer and be with us always. And when you come in your glory, make us to be one with you and to share the life of your kingdom. Amen. The appointed Psalm for today is Psalm 9. I'm going to read some verses to you from Psalm 9. I will give thanks to you, Lord, with my whole heart. I will tell of all your marvellous works. I will be glad and rejoice in you. I will make music to your name, O Most High. When my enemies are driven back, they stumble and perish at your presence. For you have maintained my right and my cause. You sat on your throne giving righteous judgment. You have rebuked the nations and destroyed the wicked. You have blotted out their name forever and ever. The enemy was utterly laid waste. You uprooted their cities. Their very memory has perished. But the Lord shall endure forever. He has made fast his throne for judgment. For he shall rule the world with righteousness and govern the peoples with equity. Then will the Lord be a refuge for the oppressed a refuge in the time of trouble. And those who know your name will put their trust in you. For you, Lord, have never failed those who seek you. Great words of uh, praise from the, the psalmist there. And uh, just love that last verse. And those who know your name will put their trust in you. For you, Lord, have never failed those who seek you. God, as we know, is a faithful God, faithful to all who turn to him. 
Do you look to him for salvation? Now our reading uh, this evening is uh, from the Gospel of Matthew 24, verses 45 to 51. So that's Matthew 24, verses 45 to 51. Who then is the faithful and wise servant whom his master has set over his household to give them their food at the proper time? Blessed is that servant whom his master will find so doing when he comes. Truly I say to you, he will set him over all his possessions. But if that wicked servant says to himself, my master is delayed and begins to beat his fellow servants and eats and drinks with drunkards, the master of that servant will come on a day when he does not expect him and on an hour that he does not know and will cut him in pieces and put him with the hypocrites. In that place, there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. This is the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And a little reminder uh, in that gospel of Matt Matthew, in that passage, just that um, we are to be found ready. We are to be found serving, being prepared, being ready that uh, with the knowledge that the, the Lord could come at any, at any stage. He could come in the next hour, you can come this evening, this week, this month. Um, the important thing is that we're found serving and working, helping to extend his kingdom. On page 112 in our prayer books, we join together, if you have your prayer book with you, in the words of the Apostles' Creed, I believe. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. O Lord, save the Queen, and grant her government wisdom. Let your ministers be clothed with righteousness, and let your servants shout for joy. O Lord, save your people and bless those whom you have chosen. Give peace in our time, O Lord, and let your glory be over all the earth. O God, make clean our hearts within us and renew us by your Holy Spirit. The Collect for the second Sunday before Advent. Heavenly Father, whose blessed Son was revealed to destroy the works of the devil and to make us the children of God and heirs of eternal life, Grant that we, having this hope, may purify ourselves even as he is pure, that when he shall appear in power and great glory, we may be made like him in his eternal and glorious kingdom, where he is alive and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. O God, from whom all holy desires, all good judgments and all just works proceed, Give to your servants that peace which the world cannot give, that our hearts may be set to obey your commandments, and that we, being defended from the fear of our enemies, may pass our time in rest and quietness through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Enlighten our darkness, O Lord, we pray, and in your great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of your only Son, our Saviour, 
Jesus Christ. Amen. Let me continue in prayer. And Father God, these days that we are living in are so uncertain. So many people are struggling with anxiety and with fear. And so we pray, Lord, that there would be just a great awakening, Lord, and a turning um, to you. That people would discover the peace that only you can bring, your peace beyond understanding. Lord, as we hear the news of vaccines, Lord, uh, it, it does give us hope, Lord. And we give you thanks um, for those whom you have gifted, um, who have been committed and dedicated um, to bringing this about. And we just pray, Lord, that the vaccines that are produced, Lord, are ethical, Lord, that we can take them uh, when the time comes, if the time comes, that we can take them in good conscience. Lord, that they would be um, cost effective and mass produced and available to everyone. Lord, we just pray that this virus would, and its effects, Lord, would just come to an end. It has had such a major impact uh, on our world. And so many people have lost their lives. So many people are in hospital at this moment, um, struggling to hold on to life. So we pray, Lord, for all the doctors and nurses, consultants, all our NHS staff, Lord, all those people who are so dedicated, courageous, Lord, as well, who are, who are treating all those who are suffering. Pray, Lord, that you would guide them, you would uphold them and strengthen them. We pray for all who are ill, Lord, that you would reach out your healing hand and bring healing and wholeness. Lord, help us as we look towards Advent and Christmas time, things are gonna be so, so different, but perhaps there's positives in that, Lord. Perhaps um, we can look and see what truly is important at Christmas time, Lord. Um, you're coming into the world to bring us true hope to bring us hope not just for um, our lives, but hope for eternity. So Lord, I do pray, Lord, that we would um, be a people, Lord, that would look to you this Christmas time and find in you all that we need. Lord, we pray for our churches, Lord. Pray for St. Luke's, pray for St. Aidan's, pray for all our parishioners. Thank you, Lord, for your hand of faithfulness and protection over us all. And we pray that you would continue to do that, Lord, that you would continue to protect us from this virus. We pray, Lord, for those um, who are suffering uh, and being treated for cancer, Lord, all that we, all those we know, not even all those we don't know. Um, such a very uncertain time, people battling cancer. And we pray, Lord, your hand be upon them, to strengthen them and uphold them. Give them the faith and the courage and the strength they need. But we pray, Lord Jesus, that you would touch them with your healing hand. We know you can do that, Lord. We commend them to you. You know who they are. Pray for their families as well, Lord, as they struggle to cope with, with this diagnosis, Lord, and what lies ahead, all that uncertainty. Lord, bless them also, we pray. We ask all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. To the King of ages, immortal, invisible, the only God, be honour and glory forever and ever. Amen. The blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with us and those whom we love this day and forevermore. Amen.